and you're waking me up so early. I just thought you ought to see the sunrise over the city. Uh, Arthur, you won't get another chance. Oh, you're full of it, kid. The sunrise will be just the same tomorrow. It's different this time. It is. Well, didn't you hear? The cafe's going up. Stardust Cafe is going up. And, and all those girls, all those little stars, they won't be singing anymore. Look, all little stars do in this city is go out. They're the most combustible of all, yes? Yeah? There's still going to be hope. To be honest, hope's the only thing that cafe needs to change its fate. Well, and I mean, food, I guess. But you walk in there, and these girls, they sing their hearts out. Every day they sing their hearts out. Ain't that beautiful? They're reaching out for their dreams. In the city of dreams. And when there's dreams, there's hope. They just gotta have it. Now it's their last day. They're going under. <clears throat> Got to go that, man. Yeah, well, uh, that's life, isn't it? Only if you've lost hope. Well, I'd say they probably have. Look, everybody in this city is dreaming and sleepwalking till the day they fall off of something or run into somebody who wakes them up. You can't always remember your dreams the next morning. You can't ever remember your dreams the next night. Well, the night's not over yet. I thought you said they were going under. Well, yeah, probably. But there might be a chance. They've got one more head. Why do you care so much? You know, I had dreams once. Capitalist crony system. Um, I thought you said you were an investment banker. I'll never take the route of the higher ups again, kid. It's not worth it. Don't sell your soul. <laughs> not bad, huh? I only lost two million dollars. So why did they can you? <laughs> that was a lie, kid. But they didn't. I quit. I could have made it all that easy. Uh -huh. Hey, never underestimate the Hong Kong rare meadows market. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Stardust Cafe is going. <clears throat> There's got to be something we can do. We? Who's this we? I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I'm 
the other side, now you see her day, like a graduate of 85. If you're in the 90s, she landed her one girl, she lost in a year. I've been the big old secrets that I'm not, know that I'm just in the yacht. Maybe all the lies were a city with a prop. You don't love a friend, a crisis of identity. And the great old mother with the city's ethnicity. They don't have the bridge that got home away from family. And all the subway is going down the city. You don't get it, she got on the next side, but every time after the stop, the prayer is too tight. So you're never here, so I just get up and run. When you play a war, we're about to stop the reason. Only have one item to tell you it's big, and you've only got one voice.
Why? Why do you like it here, Dan? There's jerk food, bad singing, what's the point? What's wrong? Why can't we see an actual show? Or get some actual food? Well, this place is cheap. Cheap? That's what I like it, huh? This is our first date and you're already getting cheap? Oh, but you're not cheap. I'm not saying that. This place is a mess, Dan. Let's get out of here. Excuse me, miss. What do you want? I don't think the cafe is the problem. What is that supposed to mean? You're not going to be good to him or for him. I think you'd expect him to be those things. <laughs> Ray, what? Who's Ray, why do you say it like that? Back up! Thank you. 
You must be Archer. Yeah, and you are? Charlotte. I've known Renee since the day she started working here. <laughs> Why well, don't know that? Yeah, and I know about you. And I know you probably shouldn't be here, and I know you pro probably know that too. We need Renee today, and if she had any idea that you were here. Listen, I assure you, I mean no harm. There's a lot of money we need to make today. So, what can I get you to start off with? This is me. That's right. You're ordering food from the Stardust Cafe on the last day of business. And you are quite famished, aren't you? Yeah, I left high school with no idea. 
Sally, I love you. I love you like a sister. I don't want to watch you suffer. I know you'll need time to think about this, but listen, you have my number. Just give me a call if you want to work with me. I'll take care of you, okay? Um, Ron